Hi guys, welcome to this solo titan run of this week's Prestige Nightfall. It's Inverted Spire. I'm going to be doing it on the Striker subclass. So my modifiers will be Arc Singe, Heavyweight and Momentum. I'm using Better Devils, my trusty Arc Mananen and the Darcy Masterwork. And all the armor I've got is Future Workout. Whether it be in Faction Rally Week, I thought I would use the armor that my, that character is tied to so i always just my titans always future walk out my hunt actually had dead orbit armor on because he's mr dead orbit so uh just uh, just an update on the catalyst video it will be up tomorrow i was lucky enough to get the i was lucky enough to get the storm catalyst today so that will be included in the video so don't forget to check it out guys your response to the hunter video the likes was perfect if you do enjoy this run don't forget to leave it a like it does the video a world of good so the idea here is just to get past this first two sections. And for anybody that's doing a high score run or any sort of run, the nightfall doesn't start till you go across here. All these ads are not included in the score. So it's not worth fighting them if you don't have to. So I was lucky enough to come in right behind a group that were doing it. So I, I never had to fight, fight any of the first enemies. We make our way to this area. Now... I always take these four ads, if you're doing it, if you just want to skip these four ads, you can drop right behind the rock that I go to on the, the lower platform. But for repeatability's sake, you can take these four ads and then you can stay up here and take all the ads that are down there. It just thins the crowd out. You've not got as many ads to deal with when you actually go down there for the first time. The Darcy wants its exotic perk, which is personal assistant. Once it procs, it will take the Hydras with one shot. So you won't have to deal with additional fire from Hydras if you just chill out, let the reticle sit on the crit spot for the Hydra for just a millisecond. I think there's an audio cue that tells you it's procced. Wait for that and pop them. So once these ads are done, we're going to go behind this rock here because it's it's cover. It's good cover from, from the ads. We're, the way we're going to do the Hydras is we're going to wait to take the second Hydra until there's until the ads have kind of pushed up to where that hydra is once we take the second hydra the explosion will actually take out some of the ads and on this run the explosion actually took out the two orange bar exploder vex which is pretty cool it saves having to deal with them and as you can see i just drop another grenade there come out proc it and then hit and i've just got some ads now as you can as you've seen there if you've seen in the feed just a heap of heap of ads were taken out by that explosion so it's efficiency it just makes the run a little bit simpler and there we go all those ads are done now we're going to make it to the right hand side my usual attack spot for the 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 first excavation site and we'll take the sniper on on top of the build when we get there then we're going to pop we're going to pop the the ultra cabal from outside the room we're going to pop him through the window and then we're going to take the the centurion with with that big blaster can and we're going to take him from you know after we've took the the, ad, the the ultra inside the building. Then we'll get on top of the booth. And then we'll take the the other ultra that's down at the teleporter. So I actually done a warlock run. Uh, and that was the run that was going to go up today. But when I went to edit it, it had corrupted beyond being watched. I was really gutted because it was a pretty good run. So hopefully I'll redo that tomorrow. And that will go up tomorrow, tomorrow night. When... Just for you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, for today, tomorrow, yesterday. Today is Wednesday, so the Warlock run will go up Thursday night. This will this will get uploaded as soon as I've finished, so it should be up Wednesday night. So we're gonna take we're gonna take uh, the sniper on top of the building, and then, like I say, we're gonna get get this uh, get this ultra took down in here. Now Darcy makes very light work of him. Three shots, one for the shield, one crit, and then the last one will kill him. The 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 this guy took a bit longer because I, I was struggling to hit his crit because he was side on, so I just took a little bit more time, popped his head, gone. I'm gonna get up on top of the building, take the other ultra, and then make it across. So we'll take the other ultra down here. So as you can see, uh, we take one one for the shield, and then I struggled to get his crit spot. It can happen. We're all human. I never missed it that time. <laughs> so that's it. Watch out for the drop. There's a pod that drops just to, just as you drop down, just in front of you to the right. So if you don't need heavy, 
when you drop down off the building, go the route I'm going here. You've got momentum, your momentum will proc. Just go that route. Uh, you get cover once you get here, and then you're good. And when you get across to the other side, drop a grenade and try and drop it on the left hand side so it'll kill it. It stands a chance, as you will see here, it explodes that barrel and takes all the cabal with it. Similar when I when I drop down to access the, the panel, the control panel uh, down here, the Samads, I'm going to drop a grenade because I'm using the, the top class of the striker subclass, which gives me shoulder charge. Shoulder charge also comes with seismic strike. So as long as I, if there's a, a group of enemies and I get, that wasn't such a good shoulder charge because seismic charge works that if you shoulder charge an enemy, it's, how many enemies around that enemy that that your your shockwave hits? They will all give you grenade energy. So you want to hit as many as you can. You don't have to kill them. You just have to hit them. I think I think I do it again, and you see that I get a bit more. Yep. So we've actually we actually charged a grenade that time. The best put time I do it is actually when we drop down in the boss section. We drop down to the very last section. And there's five goblins there. I hit, I hit them, and the seismic, the seismic charge hits nearly all of them, which gives me almost double grenade energy straight away. Pretty cool. So what we're doing here is we're just, we're just kind of working our way around the edge. We don't really have to attack anybody if we don't want. I just be shooting things because why not? But you don't have to as long as you keep running around. It's good. And remember to boost. Run into that teleporter. Don't don't boost jump into it. Just run into it or just jump without boosting. And boost before you land out of the teleporter. And when you're coming across here on the spiral, make sure you break. And then dodge right or left to break your the fall damage. And like I said in the Hunter video, still never had a sniper shoot me at this section this week. So I don't know if that's changed or I don't know what's changed. Normally I have a sniper hitting me. But this week I didn't, so it's pretty cool. If I'd have known that, I definitely if I'd have known it was going to be so easy to get past the snipers this week, I probably would have done a solar run on the Titan. Uh, so when we drop down here, the plan is we'll take these three harpies and then we're going to pre-nade that platform and then attack the boss from the right hand side of this area. If we put five, five or six crit shots into him, he will go. He won't. He won't. He won't hang around. So. Right hand side, so we've got that pillar just to your left as cover if he starts to shoot. And just get the crits on him. So we can back into cover here. Proc the momentum. And he's gone. He That's him. He's immune now. So we'll jump. I actually missed the heavy ammo. But I, I just kind of tracked it. So I tracked it. It's, I knew where it was going to fall. And I tried to get down to where it's going to land. And as you can see right in front of me, and then one drop right behind me. It's pretty cool. So let him drop down the second platform, get into position on one of the smaller platforms like I'm on, and put everything you can on him till he punches the ground. When he punches the ground, and he's got that, that he's took that much damage, he'll, he'll be immune. So now we're going to drop down to the last section. Uh, like I say, we're, we're struggling for grenade energy, but we do have the shoulder charge, so... We'll, we'll put the shoulder charge on the ads and um, it gives us almost double grenade straight away. And then I just back away to get the momentum, kill these ads, and then I'm going to get into position. Now, I kind of I do this part wrong, only only one sec, one bit of it. So I get here, I want to see how much health he's got. He fires at me, I didn't move far enough away from that and got blinded and hit. So it's cool because he never actually blinded me fully, so I could still you know navigate my way to cover but yep once that once that's out the way you want to put some shots on him be mindful to keep procking your momentum because he's doing arc so it, you know you'll, you'll be fine as long as you do as long as you get your momentum proc so we, as you can see we've we've been putting shots on him he's headless i want to just hit one i mean you could just body him with with a full mag and and then hit him with a super but i wanted one crit and the reason I wasn't too bothered is because I was in cover from where he was. I could jump. When I slam, I'll pr sl the slam will prop momentum. So I'll, I'll get my health back and we're all good. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. I appreciate all the support I got for the, the Hunter run. Don't forget to give this a like if you do enjoy it. 
and don't forget to check out the catalyst video tomorrow uh it's it's pretty good it's something different from what i usually do so i hope you guys enjoy that as well but until then guys take it easy hope this helps you get through it and i'll see you in the next video